process. Um, we had a meeting with the governor board on today, and there was three items. Um, identify the strengths of the district, identify the needs, critical issues facing the district, and those two items, I think uh, the, all the board members would like to uh, contact you or we'll set up appointments to talk to you via telephone or in person on the choice of the board and give you those answers. Okay, that sounds good. And then uh, as far as identifying the groups and individuals, um, I believe Angela said she gave you a list? Um, I... Or names? No, I didn't. I didn't get a list, but I have. I have some lists, um, and what we can do is go ahead and chart what you would like to have in, in your list. Can I go back to one item, however? All right, really fast. No. Huh? Okay. Real. I, okay. On the on the uh, tentative uh, schedule that we had, we we initially thought we would do the uh, interviews on Saturday, April the twenty fifth. Uh, would you still like to do that? Um, Gen General Davy will not be able to be here that day but we will have another partner that will be uh, here to work with me on that. So I, I think it'd be good if we can stay at, on that date. Uh, General and I have talked about that. Does that sound all right to you? Okay, yes. that, that was the only item that we had that was kind of still iffy, so great, thank you. Another item, uh, as, as General is getting the sheet ready, I just wanna let you know that as we talk to different groups, we will have a written in, input form and I've already created that form, and um, I'll, I'll be uh, sharing that with your staff on Tuesday morning. Um, we have it also in Spanish, and so we will have that form available. And tonight we talked about uh, probably having one of your staff or someone here in the community translate also into Russian. So we have that as availability as well, okay? So uh, we'll, we'll have those available to anybody who wishes to. And um, what we do is we receive those from individuals who may be at the meetings or may have to miss the meetings, uh, and they can return them in one of three different ways. They can either email it to me, and, and on, the, on the bottom of the form it has my email address, or they can send it to my PO box, or they can leave it off uh, in a sealed envelope marked confidential with the superintendent's secretary. Um, and so we'll have a deadline date for that. So, so that will be another means for people who may not be able to attend any of the meetings to still give us input. And I'm sorry, were we gonna do that online also, or is that different? Yes, um, that will be online. Um, I, and I just wanna say, I, I really appreciate uh, working with, uh, with Angela uh, Hill. Uh, we had a chance tonight to talk a little bit further and, and get her ready for our meeting on Tuesday that we're going to have, uh, there'll be an organizational meeting at that time. Um, and uh, yes, we'll be able to put all that online so that people can draw it off of, of the line as well. Okay. And we'll have a letter. Actually, the letter has been drafted as far as the, uh, the draft of that letter. Uh, the letter has been drafted uh, for the community and the staff, and uh, then the schedule will be attached to it. Um, you'll want to look at it, uh, Ms. Cruz, because it has your, your name <laughs> as the person okay. uh, to sign the letter. Uh, but we have a draft that you can work from. Uh, we also have a press release uh, ready, uh, and that'll be something we'll be able to give the staff on Tuesday morning, okay? So we're, we're, we're moving ahead from our standpoint. Um, so in terms of groups, uh, it'll be real important for us. Um, that there's, there's the normal group, and I'm gonna list those that, that we normally have. <clears throat> as far as staff is concerned, we will work with both certificated and classified. Sometimes um, the groups want to have their executive group meet with us separate from the group as a whole. We encourage uh, to have as much participation as possible and we're willing to do either one or both, okay, for, for both groups. Uh, secondly, um, as far as uh, administration is concerned, we generally separate, say, the elementary principals from the secondary administrators because they're, they're uh, uh, they're, the ideas that they have are different, okay? Mm -hmm. However, we may in this case, because you just have the one high school, we may put them together. We'll have to talk to management on that to decide. You have about 10 uh, middle managers, I'm talking about directors now, and we'll probably work with them separate in a separate meeting also. The idea here is to make certain that we have as much participation as we can 
and that uh, we let everybody have a chance to talk. And sometimes if you have too large a group, that doesn't happen. Um, we will have confidential also meet, meeting with us separate. Um, and then as far as parents are concerned, we are uh, open to going as far and wide as you want. So if, if every parent site group would like to meet with us separate, we'd be happy to go to each site. Um, oftentimes what happens is we have one meeting that would be like the, the DLAC meeting and maybe, and sometimes we put the BLAC meeting in there as well. And so we, we basically invite uh, all the schools to come with the representatives. So we may have that type of a meeting. Um, and oftentimes we will have PTA separate uh, because oftentimes the PTA or PTO, wh whatever the booster group that you have, the parent booster club group, sometimes they actually <coughs> operate separate from school site council. And again, on Tuesday, I'll, we'll find that out a little bit but we'll go as far as we need to to make certain that we have all the participation from parents and booster clubs, okay? So we can start with that. Now in terms of community, oftentimes we don't know what, com what community uh, groups are interfacing with the schools and that's where you need to help us a little bit. So um, I don't know whether you have a real active, say, um, Boys and Girls Club versus a YMCA here. Um, I'm, I, I've been very active with the YMCA for the, for the greater Sacramento area, and so I'm familiar with that group. Uh, we also have another partner who's very active with the, with, uh, and it's, it's one that's not here tonight, but very active with the Boys and Girls Club in this area. But I'm not certain exactly if both of those groups interface with you or, uh, or not. Do you, do you have a preference there? They don't. We don't have boys and girls clubs. We don't okay. have either one of those, but we'll, we'll probably have other. YMCA um, does the after school stuff. Yeah, but. after school programs. But uh, okay. I would see the chamber and the city and maybe the county. Rotary. He's going to write up uh, give him a minute. Rotary, I think. <laughs> I talk really important. fast. <laughs> We'll make, um, we'll make a, a concerted effort to make certain that we have good participation also from the uh, different ethnic groups that you have representing your community. Uh, we think that's extremely Rotary, important yeah, to have yeah. that, that cross-section of groups uh, as well. We have so, two foundations that have different representation, the West Sac Education Foundation and the West Sacramento Foundation. Uh, both of those have education interest and different uh, players on mm -hmm. those um, boards, so I think they would be important and interested. I'd also, and I don't know how we would frame that, there, there's a West Sacramento partnership, and that is a large group, and I thought they met. West Sac Partners, you mean? Yeah. yeah it's not that stable anymore. I mean, they still well, do Well, I thought meet, they were meeting, Art Pimentel was trying to pull some things together there with is the a community group, college. West Sac Partners. Mm -hmm. So I don't how, know how. How about your Chamber of Commerce? He's got it on the how about, you got, um, you got it on there, there already. A, okay. We have two community groups here. One, it's BB Can, BB BBCAN. Yeah, kind of we'll also yeah. contact the city and um, and LULAC, L U L U L A C. Depending upon the community, um, I mean, we always, almost always, get a police chief and fire chief there, there, and city manager. Okay. Um, we've been in some cities where every council person wants to wants to be a part, and of course, we can't have one meeting and have them all there because then we we uh, violate the Brown Act. So when that happens, we will have two meetings with them, and then so we have two meetings with the city, and they can decide which one they want. But if if they if they have a quorum, then somebody walks out. Um, but uh, we'll try and so get Don, as much input as we can. Is that a good list for you to start with? And we are all going to contact. Okay. We're going to contact you. With, with our answers to the strengths okay. and so forth. But if we come across any other groups, can I add? What? Oh yeah, um, sure. Just I, I as we think more. about our PTOs and elementary, just to um, we have a preschool program too. Yes. So it would be excellent. good to mm -hmm. reach out to those parents. And how about adult ed? You, I know you have an adult ed program right across the street yes. from, or at least you used to have it right across the street from the district office. Yes, there. Mm -hmm. that's good. And then with the parent meeting, um, do you envision that or have you done it in the past where it's a, a, just an open parent meeting and then we invite as many community people to that meeting? Okay. We, we have, uh, it's twofold. <clears throat> Number one, 
we will have a schedule that will be published and, and, and blasted out to the whole community um, in terms of specific meetings that we have scheduled. <clears throat> and um, so those are the meetings that we've ta already talked about and uh, maybe some others that are specific groups. Then we want to have open forum meetings where anyone from the community can feel like they can be there. Now, we will, we will, uh, we talked about that today. We'll have one of those meetings be on a Tuesday night and one of those meetings be on a Wednesday night. And um, I, you know, we can work with staff unless you have a suggestion tonight as to where we hold those. Uh, last time we used a River City High School for one of the meetings. And I know I, I was on the north end of town at one of the elementary schools. I believe it was an elementary school. It could have been a middle school um, and held a meeting up there. Um, and um, I'm trying to think where, where another partner might have been because it seems to me that we had three open forums last time. Um, we wanted to avoid Thursday night because you have a board meeting that night. And so we didn't want to be in conflict with, with the other meetings that you had, but we will have an open forum on Tuesday and then Wednesday. And if you feel like you'd like to have four locations, we can split both nights. So general can go to one location, I can go to another one and make certain that the community, so we're close to the different segments of the community where, where so we can get a good cross section of, of your town. Perfect. I was thinking of one way to share, like there's a um, West Sac Moms group <laughs> on Facebook. And so I would be happy to go and sh there would be a way that I could share a flyer or something um, and they could come to the parent group. That's what I was kind of envisioning. We have some of these funny groups that are well, the online now. Yeah, the mm -hmm. neighborhood blog and we have a, a great neighborhood yeah. watch site too. So as mm -hmm. long as we had saying we could share there, we could take the role on yeah. of, of sharing okay. those ways. I'm just not sure how active those kind of blogs are in every neighborhood. So we'd have to yeah. make sure we had different types of coverage depending on, mm -hmm. on the neighborhood. So what I would ask you to do is over the weekend, um, because we have a four day weekend, we're not going to do this till Tuesday, but over the weekend, as you think of, of groups you would like to see included, uh, just send me an email. You all have my card, I believe, and so you have my email address. Go ahead and send me email and I'll just kind of keep those all together and then when I come into the office on Tuesday morning, we'll, we'll make certain we incorporate all that into our planning. So instead of a phone call to you, could we email you our responses that yeah. you can cut and paste? Mm -hmm. oh, sure. Right. You can email me or, or give me a call, what it, what, what, it however might, easy yeah. it, it would be. I'd like to also, you know, going back to emailing you or contacting you about groups, on the strengths of the district, we conducted a couple of surveys as we were preparing for Measure V. And so I'm wondering if um, Angela or staff could, if we could piece together some of that information because I think... You know, we're kind of recreating, um, mm -hmm. you know, some of this conversation around the strengths of the district and, sure. and what the needs are, you know, what sure. some of the opportunities would be for different groups. Do you, do you recall what I'm talking about? You're looking very puzzled. Okay. That would be helpful, especially for you. It, it, as, as a board, all of this is meant to be of use to you as board members so that you can be certain that we, that, that we establish that profile up front that will be an accurate profile of what you need. And so uh, whatever is helpful for you, I think that we should try and get, get to you. Now, on the 28th, um, the, the plan right now is that um, we would try and finish up most of our uh, interviews by the 26th. Uh, we then meet on the, on the morning of the 28th. So that gives me about 24 hours to finalize the document, get it to the printer and get it printed up and have it ready that morning. And we'll have some extra copies. I don't know how many people from the public may come, but uh, as we meet with groups, one of the things that General and I will do is we will remind them that you're going to have that special meeting on the morning of the 28th. As I recall, it's at nine o'clock is the time? Uh, eight. eight, okay, yeah. that's fine. So we have, we'd like to try to keep it at two hours, eight to ten, okay. if possible, because we have some board members that have. So, so, so we we will notify people that you're meeting on eight o'clock, and and we we encourage people to come, and um, the sad thing is that uh, very few come. 
uh, even though even though we encourage a lot of them to come. And I know Saturday is it's oftentimes a family time for people anyway, but uh, we will be encouraging them to be there. And we will have extra copies of uh, the input that we receive from the groups. Now, for the individuals that respond, we generally do not include that in the packet that we give to the public. And the reason for that is some people will sign their names uh, or self-identify. And, and we and we were hesitant to basically release that to the public, but we think you as a board need to have it. So you'll see it in your packet. Your packet will be just a little bit larger than the others. I will be sending the um, that out to you electronically uh, sometime on Friday, the 27th. So you'll have some, you, you'll be able to read it before you get there on Saturday morning is what I'm saying to you. Uh, I can't give you give it to you much sooner than that. Um, if, if by chance I get it done the evening or Thursday evening, I will get it to you, okay? But as soon as it's done, I'll send that out to you, okay? So um, you're saying the paperwork, the search form that people can write on, that we would see that, um, yes. the original? Mm -hmm. um, so my only request would be that people know that up front, so if they want to submit electronic when they can in case yeah. they might not want us to know that they're writing certain things too, just to well, so the, that um, conversation. The, the form basically has, has their name be optional and, and okay. it, will be, it will be online and so they can, um, what I'm finding is that more people are sending it back electronically than they are uh, through, through okay. the snail mail, okay? <laughs> okay. And, and so, um, and, and there's, there may still be some that will come in after the uh, 20, 27th uh, okay. when, when we're putting that packet together. So if it does come in after the 28th, I'm gonna still get it to you, but it, it may not be in time for you to see it before you have to come up with a profile. There's definitely two, two groups we didn't, we don't have on there, but I already know you know them, which is WTA, Dawn, yeah. and CSEA. Oh, yes. Do we have a uh, we, group? Well, we should have CSEA and and, um, and the CTA. We now, oh, yeah, we, we talked about that initially, and yeah. and like I said, it can it can um, we like to have as many teachers as possible. Uh, I was sharing with Don earlier that uh, I was I was in one uh, district, and we had we had a cafeteria, a school cafeteria filled with teachers, and uh, there were two of us in their room, and we were. And we were there for about an hour and a half receiving all their input. And uh, that, that's the largest teacher group I've ever had. Um, we were delighted. Um, and uh, I think I told you the largest student group I had was probably Fairfield. I went, met with them at seven o'clock in the morning. I thought I was meeting with the leadership group. And, and um, a, a student met me out in the parking lot and guided me to the gym. <clears throat> And one side of the gym was filled with students at seven o'clock in the morning, <laughs> and and I, I so and we had probably three hundred students uh, in the in the gymnasium that morning, and I had three girls that had already volunteered <laughs> to write, so I was working the crowd, and and they were writing madly, and so uh, we would like to have as many as possible because I think the more feedback you receive, uh, the better the process is. We have a group of uh, Promotora's high school students that I would recommend to. It's about a group of 20 or less. I mean, you know, we have a large Russian community, and um, a way to maybe connect with them is through the, the Russian um, mm -hmm. Orthodox Church. So, is there any problem with just duplicating this form if we want no. to take it out to? specialized groups like that? There's nothing wrong with duplicating it. In fact, ourselves if we want to do that? Yeah, okay. Mary, what we will do is, is uh, we'll, we'll have quite a few copies with us uh, over those days and we'll, we'll make them available. And uh, with almost every group that I work with, somebody says, hey, I've got, I've got three teachers down the hall who really wanted to be here, but they had other meetings they had to attend. And so I'd tell them, go ahead and take those papers with you. Uh, of course, they can go online too. Uh, but um, we we get quite a few back that way, but we um, like like I said we want to try and have it translated into Russian as well. So so anyone who who wishes to uh, in their own language can uh, go ahead and give us that feedback. If they if they respond in Spanish, <clears throat> um, my wife has been very good <laughs> about going ahead and translating all that. So. 
we will we will provide that for you. So you'll you'll have the English translation as well, but we put it initially in the language that they give to us. Okay. Anything else? No, we're just thinking of people to get it out to families. But are you gonna have like a link? Sorry, yeah, you might have already a said link. that and I missed it. Like a link that we could send people to or that we could post on our Facebook page or email or um, yes. Okay. Yes. She's, she's, okay, okay. We, we talked about this before, and so um, the, 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 you know, we're going to have several links. Um, you've got, it's going to be on our website. It'll be on, on Ed Join's website. It'll be on, on Ed Cal's uh, website as well. It'll be on your website. And so there's going to be quite a few links out there in terms of this. And uh, when, when, we, when we advertise, I'm going to be advertising it as Washington Unified South Sacramento, okay? West Sac. I'm going to do that. You said South. Oh, I'm sorry. Pardon me? West Sac. What did I say? Yeah, bad, bad, bad. Okay. It's too late. West Sacramento, okay? So we're going, we're going to make certain that, that people also can identify the area that you're in, Better okay? In Washington. We, yeah. we think that's real important for us. There is another search going on the same time as this search. It'll, it'll actually be a little bit ahead of you, and it's Washington Union School District. Um, now, I, I'm not certain where that is, but I know it's in the Central Valley somewhere, uh, kind of south, I think, of San Jose area. Okay, if you get so. some good candidates for them, will <laughs> yeah. you send them that way? <laughs> We will, but I. But it's a whole different. It's a whole different search. It's an elementary it's district. It's small. Um, it's it's a total. It it probably the the candidates that apply for that would not be appropriate here. But uh, but Mary, it's a good thought. <laughs> Just kidding. Don, did you bring a, a, an original contract? Original Tonight? contract. Yeah. So we can get a um, sign. You know, I I I think I left you with two or three the other day. Copies. Uh, yeah. Those were copies. Yeah. You were going to sign one. Yeah. Those those are, you know, from our sense, uh, originals because they came off. Uh, the original would be the signature. Okay. Uh, but um, you, we can use that, or I can go ahead and bring some extras and work with your staff. Um, oh, we have copies. Your business, man, your business office will want to have a copy um, and uh, because they need to keep that on file. Uh, generally, the superintendent's office will, and we'll keep a copy also. Okay. Okay. And it, it, it kind of works neat because since I was here last, now I'm the chief financial officer of our group also. <laughs> so uh, we'll make certain it's done right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Great. Thank you, and have a nice weekend with you your too. with your family and sorry kids and so forth. So, yeah, sorry and, uh, to keep it. Yeah, we'll um, see you on the 28th. Do we have any future board agenda items? Oh, yeah. Got to have that. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, one, looking to adopt opt out policy for um, families who opt out of the test to ensure um, that the kids aren't just sitting in you know, a room with nothing to do, so that they have something that's enriching. So maybe we can look at our policy for families that opt out of the test so that those students have an alternative placement on the campus. And number two is we had talked about um, looking into grant opportunities, and this might be a perfect time to have a grant position in the district, whether it's part-time, whatever that might look like, since we have bond money that we could maybe leverage and try to do matching funds. So. Um, it doesn't have to be next meeting, but I think within a timely matter, the next few, we should look into the position of um, a grant writer that could work with big grants as well as schools. Or even contracting a grant writer. Or we can also contract. So maybe exploring what our options are. Is it better to contract? Is it better to part-time, full-time? What? That would be a good discussion. As long as we don't use funding from Measure V. Or from buses. We need to <laughs> buses. <laughs> Any other items? Can I get a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. A second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Have a nice Valentine's Day. Good